Um, there is really nothing wrong with what is happening in Johannesburg. The people are calling for cigarette ballot, and uh, they are of a view that uh, uh, the speaker is not um, uh, reaching out. You know, the ANC and, uh, and the DA, they are devils, both of them. So you have to choose which devil you want to work with. DA would have made a very good, I mean, a better devil. But the DA doesn't want to work with us. And uh, it, even despite the fact that we voted for them, even when they say they don't want to vote for, we don't, they don't want us, we still voted for them. We vote for them, they get in, and they still continue to talk nonsense about us. They never stop. They continue to talk absolute rubbish, racist rubbish about us. So there's nothing we can do to help them. Uh, so we have to look at what's working for the EFF. We want to have an impact. We want to be influential. We want to lead also in those coalition and municipalities. This thing that people feel that like they can just leave us out like that, as if we are no role players. It's not going to be accepted. So uh, the DA must know the EFF door is still open. You know, if you want to achieve the strategic objectives of the revolution, you have to kiss a lot of frogs on the way. Matlame, uh, true, and all types of things. <laughs> in order for you to get where you want to get to. So we were prepared to, to listen. Uh, even to the DA. The, the DA is going to collapse this metros. Maybe I must warn you and warn the people of South Africa. Because you can insult people uh, to this extent, especially if you know what power they hold. Let's look at the uh, Igurulenu, for instance. If the DA keeps on insulting the EFF and the EFF decide, look, let's go a different way. We can't take these racist insults from the DA. The, D, the power will leave the DA in less than no time. DA lost PE they were supposed to have won. We voted with them, despite the fact that they were arrogant and insulting us. We have always put the people of South Africa first. But those smaller parties that we had consolidated to the DA side, we consolidated them. They said, no, we're not going to take this insult from these whites. We're leaving. We had consolidated those people. They were with us. They were going to vote for the DA. But the arrogance that was displayed in PE, including a white man who disappeared and didn't come to a meeting, the DA never took the country into confidence as to why was that man not in a meeting where the ANC won with one vote in PE. Two things. Either he was bought or he was sick. But the DA must tell us, why was the guy not in the meeting where the ANC won with one vote? Because when the small parties shifted to join the ANC and we remained with the racists, the balance was 50-50. It took the DA's racist male to be absent for the ANC to win with one vote. The country till today has not been taken into confidence as to what happened? But if it was the EFF man who was absent, will be told how many tenders he does with who, that's why he was absent, perhaps. Eh? But if it's a white man, white men can never be bored in the standards of South African journalists and media. The PE is still available for the opposition which is aligned to the DA to take. But this nonsensical Helen's attitude of a wrinkled old woman who knows that she has lived all her life, she's done, she's waiting for exit, she doesn't care what happens. That's why old people must not lead, because they can't talk about the future which they will not be there when that future takes place. What, is, what future is Helen talking about? Because Helen should be saving the, the knees and all the joints, they are painful, and all manner of things. Hmm? So we can't. 
we can't have a situation where some old woman, white racist woman want to preside over the future which will not be there. That's why we have a problem there in the ANC of old people, old age, some kind of means illnesses also in the process. Now you have the whole leadership sick. Sick. Literally sick. In and out of hospital. I mean, when you look at how Paul Machatile walks, they are sick. Old age, some of the symptoms of old age is sickness. So we can't entrust old people with the future which they will not be there. They won't be there, but they are saying we are planning for the future. They are not planning for the future. They are planning for their pension. They are taking now for themselves. I mean, how, if you listen to ANC stories of how much money people go and raise for the ANC and how much they still don't understand why workers are not paid, someone is taking that money for themselves. Why would ANC have a problem of salaries? ANC is the biggest beneficiary of the IEC money. The ANC is the biggest beneficiary of the Parliament caucus money. The ANC is the biggest beneficiary of the parliamentary money, what do you call parli admin. And then the ANC is the biggest beneficiary of all provinces that have been allocating political fund before this nonsensical party funding bill came into place. And then the ANC members, public representatives, levies. I mean, if we can sustain ourselves with the party levies and buy this building with the party levies, how much can the ANC make out of the party levies? No, they are stealing because they don't care about the future. They care about their pensions. You know, these business people of uh, finding ANC, they must just look at the lifestyle of these people. Ne? Someone was telling me that this former mayor of Joburg used to be a fundraising officer in Paul's office. If there is a big chunk of money, I don't know, I'm not saying anything. I, I'm just, you know, telling you as it is. You guys must go and investigate. It's not a fact. But if the chunk of money goes to the ANC, that former mayor of Jobe, what is his name? Mpomuera. Eh? Mpomu is going to buy a new car. There's going to be some flashy, nice car around Mpomuera when there is a big money of donation going to the ANC, something changes in Pomerani's life. And that's pretty much at least confidence. So, and here you've got workers not being paid and leaders living large life. So in the EFF, we're not only paying workers, we also give them bonuses on their bad days without faith. When we don't have money for programs, we don't even get tempted to go and take the money of salary. So this money comes like this. Parliament gives us money quarterly, right? Then the money of salaries for the next three months gets to be put aside. You can't touch it. Unless there is a, 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 a serious threat to the stability of the organization. Then we go and take the last month salaries of these workers. Use it there with the understanding that by the end of the month, the party levies would have come through. And then we take the money from the party levies and then you return it back to the last month of the workers. It's called cash flow management. You may not understand it. It's not an easy subject. <laughs> so you manage your cash flow. Eh? I bet those things of history and cash flow management, <laughs> they don't relate. So you might be disorganized. So let the DA come to the party. We, we want to unseat the ANC at all costs. But we can't impose ourselves on DA and we can't keep on voting for DA 
even when the DA is insulting us. We went to beg Herman Mashaba. We. Herman and we are pulling out. First sitting of election of a mayor. I've never seen such arrogance. We are pulling out. We begged him. We begged Makosi Koza. The SG spoke to Makosi Koza. Makosi Koza said, how do we vote for these people when they are being arrogant? The SG called me. I said, she is not going to vote for them. You can see. That's why we lost the Tequin. Makosi Koza was insulting DA on the queue to voting. How do you do that? Even if you are angry with them, now it's time to vote you. You said you are voting with the DA. Once the voting starts, you stop the criticizing and go and vote. On the queue. Going to vote. I said, SG, listen to her. She's on the queue. She's not going to vote for, for the ANC. So it didn't come as a shock for me that we actually lost a Teguini because um, people like Makosi Koza were not well behaved. Then SG gives me that report. I call the DP. DP, we have a situation here. No, she's briefed. It. No, she's not fine. She's still saying wrong things. They're sitting now. Please sit down, sit down. She sits down. We don't know what she's going to do because she's still saying nonsense. Then the bosses, DP calls the bosses. The bosses have to now send a message in the city. Then she sent the SG a message. Now my bosses have called to reaffirm that earlier position you were telling me about. That's how difficult she was. I'm not shocked now when they are going for each other with her men. We saw it coming. So cancel of Joe Berg is proper. We are fine. 